Hi, this is Chetan and I am your instructor for this training. I am passionate about the training and uh, that's where I am doing the trainings on AWS from past two years. I conduct a classroom training for IT professionals. However, while doing this training from last two years, one thing I realized that the concept that people typically uh, find it difficult to get is a networking in AWS. And in my opinion, networking is the most important concept which people should get because it decides the security of your application, whether it would be able to scale, how to prevent attacks. So in order to build a really good architecture on AWS, it's very important you understand each and every bit of the networking. And that's where I have built this course, which is specifically focuses on networking in AWS. This course, if you see, is divided into two parts. One is about understanding networking from zero to the depth. And then second uh, talks about the exercises. I believe in learning by doing. And that's where this course more focuses on doing the hands-on exercises. In my day-to-day -day training batches as well i do a lot of assignments and exercise i give to the students because in my opinion when you actually understand the concepts and then try to implement it on your own it is a different kind of learnings many a times students face some issues there are some mistakes that they do and when they realize that mistake by troubleshooting that learning experience is something which cannot be taught and that's what i try to inculcate in this training in this course, we are going to see uh, exercises and we'll start from very basics, how to create your first VPC and launch first EC2 instance in public network and connecting to that instance. And from there, we'll slowly build into how to manage and private networks, launching machines in private networks and then connecting to it from the public networks. Then we'll see what the functionality of NAT, how it enables the internet connectivity launching NAT gateways and configuring EC2 instance as a NAT. Then we will see how to connect to VPCs using VPC peering. And then an advanced use case where you connect Amazon data centers or Amazon's virtual private cloud to your on-premises data centers. So even that exercise we will be doing in this. Also, uh, many a times you require to have AWS region level failover. And in that case, you have to work at the top level of the networks, that's DNS. And we will see actually how to use AWS Route 53 service to do this failover. So if you really want to understand AWS networking from zero to up to the advanced level, take this course. I hope this will definitely help you to take your understanding to the next level. All the best. Thank you.